The Alpha yoke from Honeycomb cost about $250. This Brunner yoke cost about $1,400. The Logitech multi-panel cost about $150. And a similar one from PropWash Sim is about $129. This simulator panel kit cost $1,050. This CJ1 Plus simulator cost around $200,000. This Citation Mustang trainer from Aviatech cost a few thousand dollars. And this Citation Mustang simulator from Frasca cost over a million dollars. Have you ever wondered where these prices come from and why they can vary so much from one manufacturer to another? In this video we will answer these questions by analyzing some pre-made components and understanding the basics behind these prices. Many of you have started your flight simulator experience with simple pre-built panels such as the Logitech Pro Flight Switch Panel, which cost about $99. Let's go ahead and analyze the components that make up this panel and its estimated costs. When picking components, I will ignore appearance and focus on the mechanics. As we are about to go over information that can be very useful, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with others. First up are the 13 rocker switches we see highlighted here. Searching on Amazon, we quickly find a 5-pack which are DC rated. We need 3 of these for a total of $18. Next, we need a 5-position rotary switch which has an average cost of $10. For the landing gear lever, we will use a simple toggle switch. Now we need some LEDs for the landing gear indicator lights. To make these work with the simulator, we will need an interface card. For this example, we will use the Arduino Mega 2560, which can be found on Amazon for $16. To connect the individual components to the Arduino card, we will need some wire. That's it for the most basic components. However, to complete this project, we will need a plastic housing with engraved labels, a soldering kit to properly connect the components, and we still need to program all of the functions and software so the simulator can use the panel. If we were to put a price on our time or outsource these services, we would clearly exceed the $99 that Logitech would charge for the panel. Let's do another brief example. I want to build this panel which belongs to a King Air 350. So I decide to start with all the toggle switches. I'd like to complete this project with components from a local store. So I head over to Walmart and find the switches at almost $4 a piece. Since we need 19, our total in just toggle switches is $76. Now let's answer the question, why does price vary so much between manufacturers? The word that dominates the flight simulation world in terms of pricing is fidelity. Fidelity defines how realistic the equipment is to the real aircraft. A few months back, I published a video which defines the true meaning of fidelity. It featured the flight control system of a Citation Mustang built by Aviatech. Real pilots cannot even tell the difference. Let's say you are working on a project that requires five dual rotary encoders. You can get low fidelity encoders for just $14 apiece for a total of $70. However, to increase the fidelity and quality of your project, you can upgrade to ELMA encoders, which cost about $31 a piece. But let's say you would like for your project to feel exactly like a real aircraft. You can use five of the Greyhill high torque concentric encoders, similar to the ones used by Garmin. At $113 a piece, this puts the project at over $560, just on encoders. Knowing all of this, it is very discouraging to read comments on YouTube and other social media platforms of how components manufactured by Real Sim Gear, Aviatech, Stay Level, Flight Velocity, and others are too expensive. To answer the question, flight simulator components are expensive because electronics are expensive, and aviation is a very demanding field that requires components not only to work, but to work in multiple dimensions where they are constantly being monitored, measured, logged, or dynamically changed. Many of these components function not only as an input, but also an output that will affect an entire operation depending on how they behave. These complex operations will drive up the price of any electronic equipment, as they also require quite a bit of time to assemble, program, and test. To view a lot of these devices up close and personal and talk to different manufacturers about them, I highly recommend you attend the Flight Sim Expo. You will have an opportunity to really understand what fidelity means and how it can affect your own projects. 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and please don't forget to share this video and also like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.